Alright guys, downhill on the riverbank again. I just took some of the kudzu we used in our uh, kudzu processing video there. Twisted up a bowstring out of the outer part there. This is one solid piece, been folded over and the reverse twisting method applied. But uh, I made two of them, one a little bit skinnier here. We're just going to use these for a bow drill strain. Just a demonstration here. Take a spindle. See how big of a divot I want in there. Cut a little notch in it here. See what happens with that right there. Tighten our string up just a hair. Pretty humid out here this morning. Alright guys, here goes nothing get something to catch my coal here. I just got us a little sycamore leaf here to catch our ember. Set that thing there. Alright guys, see what happens here.
a little bird nest here. Just got a bunch of honeysuckle bark in here with a little bit of birch bark in our center there, really fine. Let this build in strength here. See if we can get some flame on. Alright guys, so that was our thin kudzu vine bow drill string right there we used. And uh, I think it might have a just enough in there to reburn a new divot in there for a new spot. So, kudzu vine guys, uh, if you're going to use it, I'd say make two or three strings for backup, you know. Natural cordage, it's always iffy. So. Alright guys, so we're here with our, our kudzu cordage again here. Just gonna let you know on a few little tips here that work for me. Maybe they'll work for you, I don't know. So we used our small cordage right here for our bow drill. I made two for a backup. It's, it's good to have two or three, I think. But uh, what I've learned is using smaller spindles on your kudzu vine here. So when you use a smaller one, your cordage is kinked over really tight like that. And it makes it want to break like that when it rolls around. So I found out that uh, when you use a bigger spindle there, that your cordage doesn't have to kink as much. So it lasts a little bit longer there. So that's just something to look out for right there. But uh, when I finished making my kudzu rope, right here if I don't use it right away and it dries up what I'll do is come to any puddle of water or anything and I'll dip it in it just real quick get a coat of water on it and then I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back over a stick and kinda buff it over a stick a little bit to get it stretched out again so with wetting it it just makes the fibers a little bit stronger I think uh, they're not so dry and brittle so just a couple little tips there guys might help you out if you ever try to use kudzu there but uh it works appreciate it y'all